so yesterday I was in Westminster, I was back at Central Hall doing my job and at lunchtime I decided to take a little walk. <laughs> And during my little walk, I came across these um, protesters at the Supreme Court. Now, according to Nigel Farage, there was going to be 100,000 people. Uh, we were about 900,000, 999,820 short, I guess, and that's been very generous. Anyway, there was this chap here, and I took a picture of him, and I put it out on my Twitter feed, and I put it out on my Instagram, and I put it out on my Facebook. And it got a few retweets, and I picked up a few more retweets, and it was doing okay, a few likes. It was quite funny. Later on that day, yesterday, I started to see the photograph was going viral, because it suddenly started popping up in lots of other retweets, but it wasn't my tweet being retweeted. And what I discovered as the, of, hang on, what I discovered was that somebody had decided to do a good old screenshot of my photo, and then passed it off as their own. Which is really not cool. And, you know... Yeah, it's a good picture, but you shouldn't be trying to try and claim credit for it and make it go viral. I took it, guys. You know, let me have the credit for it if it starts to go viral. And it did, and it's gone viral this morning as well, as has my rather ranty tweet about my lawyers watching. And there's a couple of websites who've decided to publish it under somebody else's. And, uh, well, let's just leave it uh, for the lawyers to decide that one. So, apologies for not vlogging on Sunday. Things just kind of went crazy. But the kids were stars in the nativity. They did, well, they weren't stars. One was a shepherd, one was an angel. They did really, really well. And then got back, went up to Cambridge, the Haymakers, played the last... Haymakers gig of the year and I popped that onto my Facebook page on Facebook Live and you can see all the way down there all these different things and please go back and watch it it'll be on the Facebook page for a few more weeks uh, well worth checking out it was actually I would say if I may say so myself one of my better gigs of the last few months mainly because I feel like my fingers are starting to get there and this chart is making a huge difference to my daily practice. In fact, I would hazard that I haven't actually practiced for this many consecutive days ever in my life. Maybe on the run up to like a recital or my grade eight or something, I don't know, but anyway, it's been going, working really well. It was a really good gig. It was, um, we played quite a bit of material off Jazz Vespers. We had Rudy came and sat in and another drummer for the jam session. And we're gonna be back at the Haymakers in February. So that, look forward to that. The rest of today, I've got to get my practice done. I've already done three hours of teaching, but tonight we we have tickets to the opening night of the Cambridge Panto, which we're looking forward to, and we've got the kids have been invited as well, so that's really, really nice. By all means, always share content, but always make sure you credit the person who's made the content first, because it's just not cool otherwise. These are amazing, they're called Rejuvenates. I have got a review of the Rejuvenate up here, um, but I really swear by them. I'm gonna have to go and clean this one out, but you basically just have, you can keep three reeds in there, you can see how it needs a clean, um, and you use original Listerine or vodka, I tend to use Listerine, um, vodka's better drunk, um, and it has a sponge in there, and it just helps keep the reeds kind of moist, and most importantly clean, because a lot of these humidity packs are great at keeping the reeds moist, but then you end up with mold growing on the reed. And I've got to say, on these packs, um, you, have, you know, you just don't get. The, the, it's nice and clean. There's no mold. <laughs> So the muse has stirred this morning. Sorry, the lighting's really bad here. Let me just adjust this lighting a little bit. Saying that, it doesn't always look as bad when I end up looking, getting to the edit. But anyway, so I'm gonna try and put a lead sheet into Sibelius. I don't, I'm not a great fan of Sibelius as a piece of software. It could be done better. And I would kind of wish Apple would make a music notation software, because I'm sure they do it better than Avid do with Sibelius, but Sibelius is what I know. I've tried Finale, I just can't get my head around Finale. It's even more complicated than Sibelius. 
And I always find there's a disconnect when I'm composing between what I have in my head and then what occurs on the paper. And so often lead sheets are a better way for me to compose. But all I'm aiming to do now is just get a sketch down of the composition I've just been playing and writing. It's been in my head for a while. Get a sketch down and then I'm going to work on it. And then hopefully I might pull it out on the sound check on Friday's gig and then it will possibly become part of the gig. It may even be good enough I'll throw it in on the gig. I don't know. We'll just see. Um, but anyway, I need to get on with the lead sheet. So into Sibelius we go. And I always, I always write in tenor key. It's just easier for me to think and then transpose it down for piano. So. There's no underground in Cambridge, darling. Just idiots on bikes. Just wanted to film the lovely lights. Where are we going? To see the Panto. So we're just off to the gala performance of Dick Whittington, the Cambridge Panto. So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, it's taking in these amazing Christmas lights. Someone enjoyed the panto. Just as I'm finishing the edit to post this, I just want to say thank you to a few people on Twitter who have apologised for retweeting, particularly at Sturdy Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Will Black. Um, and thank you to a few others. Um, you know who you are anyway, but thank you for acknowledging that um, that wasn't an original tweet. And thank you for um, retweeting the original one. That's good the stuff, that's that's the good way the social media should be. So at the end of the video, people are good on social media and I'm so thankful. So just as I finish as well, 
we've gone past the 2000 barrier of subscribers compared to just 400 when I started this vlog so thank you so much um, I really appreciate it please tell your friends about the channel and send some more subscribers so we can burst the 10,000 barrier next thank you